There we go. I think that's fixed it. All right. So it was doing that weird thing it did the other day where it OBS said it couldn't connect to the stream, but it was still streaming anyway. So I just wanted to fix that real quick. So, yeah. Uh, so we'll continue from where we left off last time, which we just picked up Grid Man. Um, actually, no, I think. No, we picked up Kobu. That's it. We picked up Ogami in his Kobu. Yeah. Um, so we've got a whole bunch of other things to do. do, behind, do. As you can see, there's like so many places to go, so much to do. Um, did I not do these ones already? Hmm. All right, well. Let's just run through these again real quick. I feel like I'd already done these. I may be losing my mind though. Um, so yeah, this is just going to be as talking to Mitsubishi. I'm just going to put this on auto really quick because I've already, I'm pretty sure I did these all these last time. So I don't know why it's telling me to do them again. You, That's slightly concerning. I have a bad feeling I... 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 Uh oh. I have a concern. I have a concern. <laughs> Someone's on the paper, right? I think... Uh oh, I have a um Com battler J D. Oh no, it didn't. <laughs> it didn't save my. It didn't save my um. No, wait. I saved it. I'm positive I saved it. Did I save it? No, that's definitely the right data. No, that's fair. <laughs> I didn't save what I did yesterday. So, today's stream is going to be a repeat of yesterday's, and I won't be putting it up on YouTube. Ah, uh, is that the reaper? <laughs> 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 oh, I'm having a day. Okay. All right. That did not save, apparently. Oh, no. So we'll go through all this again real quick. Just let it auto play through. Uh, so how's everyone going today? Are we good? Are we having a good day? Oh boy. So I'm just going to try and get through these as quickly as possible. Um... OBS has been exercised. However, I did not save my um, game from yesterday, so I have to redo everything that I did yesterday today. Putting this stream, this is just going to be a chill kind of redoing everything stream. 
because I've already done all this stuff yesterday. Um, I already have all of this gameplay up on... <laughs> Emotional damage, yes. <laughs> yes, I need a soundboard, and that needs to be on there. <laughs> I need I need to have that. I need to have uh, a soundboard. Um, Amelie. One of her quotes... You have to embrace the cut, the scuff. Become one with it. Because, ah, yeah, I did this yesterday. I know I did this yesterday. I'm positive I did this yesterday. Ah, oh, I think I did this yesterday. Now I'm not so sure. <laughs> I think I'm losing... Give me, give me just a second. Um. Ah, yeah. okay. Don't. Right. There we go. Okay, give me. Sorry, give me a, give me a second. I need to recheck something. I need. I need, I just, I just really... Yeah, no, I did. I definitely did. I definitely did this one. I, I, I also... Like, I did the... I think it's got to do that really long Brave Police one again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I did this one before, so I'm just going to rush as quickly through this one. And mutual trust before again, and that other one after it before, so I can fit, get get back to. Uh, I didn't want to do a long stream tonight. <laughs> I kind of can't do a long stream tonight. It's I got work tomorrow. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're just gonna cut through as much of this as we can really quickly because I've already played through all this. Having barely four hours. Uh, yeah. No, I've had a day. Um, it's... <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm experiencing a rip right now. <laughs> Uh, uh food till noon, a bunch of BS. yeah, yeah, I, I get it. Uh, this is just oh my god, I feel so silly. I thought for sure, I'm positive I saved it. I'm positive I saved it, but apparently I didn't. So now I've got to just zip through all this really quickly. <laughs> to anybody who is joining me, um, you can see me do this stuff through proper on my YouTube, uh, youtube.com forward slash Dr. Me 4. Um, and the other two episodes of this playthrough are going to be on there as well. <laughs> um... <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm, 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 
I'm 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 sorry if you stu- if you're stumbling on here. I I I apologize. He's stumbling on my stuff up. <laughs> uh, now I feel like I've got to try and get through all this really quickly, so I can like get the one uh get get to an one that I haven't already played. You did save. I remember seeing you save. Does this? It does, but I double checked. The other save is the save for my private playthrough where I play as Edge. Um, so, well, yes, it does support multiple saves. I did not. I'm not using the wrong save, nor did I save over anything that I shouldn't have saved over. <laughs> I don't. I checked that. I didn't. And I know that because I'm a lot further along than I am with this one. And on the other save, I checked it. It was at mission 38. Whereas this one is a lot sooner into the uh, earlier into the game. So, no, I didn't overwrite the other save. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's a it's a day, man. It's a day. I, I can't believe I did it. I can't believe I did that. I honestly can't believe I did that. Oh my god. I feel so stupid. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm just going to zip through this as quickly as I can. Um, so I can get back to the actual stuff that I haven't done. <laughs> Gosh. Oh my gosh. I seriously hope nobody who hasn't seen my stuff before has <laughs> stumbled up on things because this is really not me at my best. This is me at my most scuffed. <laughs> this is me at my absolute scuffed. <laughs> That's okay, a little scuff makes the stream more interesting. Uh... Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Man, I'm surprised Drea isn't sitting over there giggling her head off over this one. I'm sure I'm sure she's giggling internally if she's noticed what's going on over here. <laughs> oh gosh. Ah. 
<sighs> this is great. This is fun. This is... It's, it's, it's all good. It's always fun when you, like, completely... Completely, completely just... Ah, boy. Electromagnetic Beyblades, go! <laughs> no, there is not. <laughs> my, my wife went, there is no god here, and I've gone, no, there is not. Yes, something like that, yes. Ah... <laughs> uh... Uh oh. oh, I was thinking you were gonna mech with her. So ridiculous. I don't even know. It happened so quickly. Oh, that bitch. That bitch. The number of times I fucking risk even riskier shit than that. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I do think I know what that ship's carrying, but we'll go to the, we'll go to that later. There is no god only Zor. How about you fuck off? Funny you should mention that. That's my shirt right now. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> there is only Zor. <laughs> So I suppose I should do oh, this God. really long one real quickly. Hey, I can do this all day. All right then, Captain America. <laughs> oh. Now I've got to go through all this again. And this mission is long. This mission on its own took me like an hour and a half to complete yesterday. I need to be done with this by like 9 30, 10 o'clock. That's when I need, that's the latest I can end my stream. I <laughs> so, like I said, this isn't going to go up on um, YouTube. The, um, the, uh, Yesterday's playthrough has all of this built into it, and it's already up there. So, I'm not going to post the, sec the, the same video twice. So, we're just going to zap through this really quickly, and then go from there. I still love the names of the build team. You've got McCrane, Power Joe, and Dumpson. <laughs> Which is just great. Which is just great. At least I know my microphone's working today. That's a plus. <laughs> uh. And then Shadow Maru. 
<sighs> Dude, don't even. I am probably... I would probably freak out. So, yeah, please don't even joke about that today. I would probably just stop streaming and go to bed. Uh, <laughs> Uh, no, I, I don't know if they're going to be nice and do that for you. Oh my gosh. Ah, I gotta go through all this again. No, I can't hear. It's good. I should hope so. Because my one disappointment with this bit is that you don't actually get the build team um, combination video like you do with uh, Jay Decker. I am severely upset that we don't get to see Bill Tiger combine. I'll have to look that up on uh, YouTube so that I know what that actually looks like. <sighs> so, yeah. Everybody runs. Everything's good. No, it's not. Everything is bad. Everything is awful. Every nothing really oh, makes. Yeah. Oh. Everything is awful. <laughs> Everything is interesting when nothing goes the way you plan it. So I've you know, at least you went in the This is true. This is true. I that's always fun. <laughs> that sort of stuff is fantastic. No, it's not. It's lame. But you know. Um but yeah. I've got my, I, I've got an iPad as the third screen. I think I've explained this one to you before, Rita. But it's one of the really old iPad 2s, which means it can't really do anything but be a third screen. And the image quality is actually really good. So I've got OBS open on it so I can actually see it. And, you know, this thing is like, 10-ish years old. It's still really good. Oh, hacked, hacked. Ah. So yeah, the whole story with Anti and Akane, oh, I kind of know it, and it's actually really cool. Um, I found out more about Akane recently because there is a follow-up to Gridman that I didn't realize that I should be watching. I need to finish watching Gridman first. We should totally do that. You know, watch along. You might rec even though it's like a, a, a basically a remake. You might recognize some from Superhero Samurai Cyber Squad Raider. Okay, so oh, no, I want you to stay on auto because I don't want to deal with that. Okay, so we're gonna go through all this again. <laughs> I love how Shadow Maru calls you to Tiny Boss. <laughs> I love that. <sighs> and here comes the giant robot up at the tops. Get tight. Kaboom! I need to sit down and watch Brave Police too. <laughs> so, 
Send out the cavalry. Done with that. Okay. So they're going to move up. No one attacks just yet. Okay. Now Kagero shows up. And Shadow Maru. Ah, boy. I need to look up who Guru is, because, like, Com Battle, I need to watch as well. Probably that's going to be a little bit more right. difficult, because it is so much older than any of the other stuff that we're looking at so far. That one with the bullseye. Over the music because I don't want to get copyright claimed again. Just really trying to get through this as quickly as I can so I can get back to catching up with everything. <laughs> Big blast on you. Let's go through this bit again. Da 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 Gotta go through all of this again because I really, really screwed this up again. Don't know why I do it. She had to be the gift. Trying to get through this as quickly as possible. I have no idea if anyone else is watching, but. We're just going to have to live with that. Sorry so, about this, guys. Damn, why is Kigeru suddenly jumped on Gridman? Okay, so as long as I don't get too badly ganged up on. So we'll just bullseye this real quick. I'll get censored. Yeah, 
No, don't do that. Because <laughs> I'll have to read it out, and then I'll probably get oh, censored too. <laughs> Uh, it's always fun when everything goes wrong. I love it. I love it. It's so cool. Uh, I mean, you can make it and just center yourself. Replace words or whatever. That's always an option. Supreme Yo-Yo. Okay, I'll show you this one because I'm not sure if you saw this yesterday. You will appreciate this as someone who's watched Dino Thunder. Yes, he's using a yo-yo weapon. Does that seem vaguely familiar? <laughs> if it does... <laughs> I can't sense it. It loses its impact. And yes, it does. Oh, good. Just wanted to make sure. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> hit that real quick. Did it miss? Nope. It just didn't do as much as I thought it would. So we'll do this one. Sorry! Apparently they can hear me in my wife's headset, so... Oops. <laughs> what am I... Oh. Anti. Yeah, you know what? Let's just attack that thing. Um, so, I want some EXP, and I want to hit that, just guaranteed to hit it now, and then, who needs, oh, Gridman does, oh, okay, yeah, so I'll do that real quick, so, all charged up there, anything I can do, nope, okay, so, we'll go ahead, and hopefully switch and shoot anti down. Yep. <laughs> Stay out of my fight with Grim or I'll crush you too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But it's okay for your buddy to attack Grim from behind. Yep, that sounds about right. <laughs> okay, so we're good. Hit that one. This battle is very long. It helps that I'm shortening it by skipping over a lot of things. <laughs> this guy's just bouncing around. <laughs> just I'm going to take Red Man. Ah. Uh... So Kagero goes down. Should have just attacking kept attacking Shadow Maru. And Yuta's going to say, you can join up with us. And then he's going to shut down his emotions. Or for seeing all this, Mr. Pinball Man. Yeah, he was bouncing all over the place. That just wasn't good. That wasn't very nice. Just If you want to just fight Shadow Mario, focus on fighting Shadow Mario. Crud. So now I've got all these, plus these other two that I haven't had a chance to kill yet. Uh, yep, they're all going to encourage him. He's going to go Super Saiyan. <laughs> He's not. That would have been cool. Okay, so Anti's going to do his thing. And this should finish Anti off, I think. Nope. Well, that's annoying. You're going to move up. Okay, so you're all going to move up as well, which is very annoying because I'm nowhere near ready for you to move up. 
And now this stuff's gonna happen. Yeah, like I said, just 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 skip through. Just skipping through. I have no idea if there's anyone else watching other than Raider, but Yeah, I messed up. I messed up something shocking. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> And they're going to do that thing. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have a drink. Where's my drink? <sighs> Once more. And now we can... See, I wish we got the actual transformation scene from the... Um, anime like we did with Jay Decker. That would have been cool, but we just have this instead. Also, there are some suggestions <laughs> with Thompson and McCrane that I'm not going to. <laughs> uh, here we go. So... Okay, so we're going to attack that one with intuition. Bam, 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 bam. bam. So we're going to finish you off with grid caliber and if they'll finally. End that issue. Yep. Okay. That was pathetic, Andy. <laughs> so. Ah, this one's got so much. Right, I forgot this one's got so much stuff to go with. <laughs> go through. Okay, so. Three hearts in one body. Looking forward to figuring it out. Blah, blah, blah. And... So, which one's this one? Oh, yeah. That's, that's that. Okay, cool. <laughs> that wipes that one out. Multi-shift attack on this one. Now, check this guy out. I... Really need to see if he's based off. So we've got one form. If they used up oh, any Transformers model to um, as his basis, because it looks like they might have. And he is from that. Uh, part for Takara where they were trying to replace Transformers and the only way in which they could do that was to take stuff that they either didn't use for Transformers or did use and redesign it and um, create new characters. Okay. Ba okay, so we'll go for the V laser, wipe that out, and level up everybody. Go with the one attack that probably would not have gotten past the American senses. Breast fire. <laughs> and we'll go with Leap Slasher on this one. And no one drank that particular Kool Aid if memory serves. My brain is frozen as to what Kool Aid we're talking about. If we're talking about the Brave series, then it never really went outside of Japan. And it was actually quite popular. Popular enough. Yeah. So, the thing with the Brave series, which is what Jay Decker and all of his buddies is from, is that 
you know, it was supposed to replace Transformers in Japan after their G1 sequel trilogy ha, finished up. So there were some animation models that were reused and just reworked. Um, I think it was X Kaiser in particular. In particular, had. Um, reused the animation models for the dino bots, I want to say. Or at least some of them. Um, but a lot of the characters didn't actually get toys. For example, aforementioned dino bot clones, despite having access to the dino bot toy molds, um, did not actually see a toy release. Um, so all the major ones, and it's why some of them feel like that they could have stepped straight out of, um, G1, because they probably could have quite easily. <laughs> So, um, so I think I'd have to check it out, but I think Shadow Maru might have actually been a uh, reworked. Um, what was his name? It was a six changer, six shot. I think might have been his name. Yeah, I think it was Six Shot. Um, who, funnily enough, was also a ninja. <laughs> with six modes. So I think... That might have... Uh, so, yeah, I think that's where... Shadow Maru comes from. If I can remember. Um, oh, bugger. Uh, uh, da, 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 So I need to heal that one, and then, cause, heal that real quick. All right. Melee this one real, actually, no, I changed my mind. So we'll do that one instead. So yeah, it's, I'd have to look it up. I should really do, a, I should probably do a video on that. That'd be fun. I haven't done any actual like sit down and record videos in like, I actually looked this up. I haven't done a video where I sit down and record it and everything in like four years. <laughs> <laughs> I should totally do that. Uh, I mean, it's been done and probably been done way better than I could ever hope to do it. I am missing everything with everybody. Okay, so you're supporting there. Can I know? Okay, so we'll do this one. Hey, look, he finally noticed. What did I finally notice? Your comment? I noticed it ages ago. I've been rambling on it for a good, like, 10, 15 minutes. The lack of recorded content. <laughs> okay.
Uh... First of all, rude. It's not that I haven't noticed it, it's just that I've never gotten around to actually doing any of it. <laughs> I know I need to, so you've taken words from... This is true. This is very true. Uh... But yeah, I, I know I need to. It's something I need to get on ASAP. A S. A S A P as soon as as soon as soon as possible. Wait, what? I don't know if I, I have no idea what I just said. <laughs> I don't know what I just said. Yeah. Ah, boy. My roommate who's watching me roast you. You has new follow. Huh? Oh, yes, I think, see that. Yes, Tim Draco, I see you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate. <laughs> I think I only need like eight more followers to com within the next, within 30 days to complete that part of. <laughs> that I only need eight more followers to complete that part of the road to uh um brain stop freeze why brain stop freeze oh. house of spicy curry is still almost as funny a, a, a an additional part hey welcome to the chat welcome to the room welcome to the insanity ah <laughs> uh, so yeah House of Spicy Curry is almost as funny a uh, additional part as Special Dog. <laughs> it's not quite. It's similar kind of gameplay, I think, but all of the characters are from some kind of mecha anime, except for the ones that are made specifically for the game. Um, I'll throw a repair kit on you. That sounds like a good idea. And so I'll throw the high performance radar, a booster, and an SP getter on there. There we go. So, and let me just. So we have. Reminds me of the old Zoids game. It's very, again, it's a very similar kind of play style. But here you've got Combat of the V, J Decker. Some of these are like really old. Like Combat of the V is like from the 70s. Um, J Decker is like from the 80s with Bill Tiger and Shadow Mario. They're all from the same series. And then the Ichinana is a Mazinga thing, but it's not Mazinga Z just yet. We're going to get to that eventually. And then Gridman, which um, is an animated version of Servo, basically from Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad from the 90s, which I don't know if you've seen that one, Pim, but yeah, I know Raider recognizes that one. And then you've got the massive battleship which apparently uses a weapon from the Battleship Yamato series. Uh, we'll get to that. And this thing, which is which is hilarious and weird looking, but it looks cooler later on, I think, supposedly. So. Basically, Tim, yes. And Raider, I actually... I have a Zoids game on the GBA somewhere around here. I don't know if... I'm pretty sure it's not the one you're thinking of. Um, but it has a very similar... Uh, 
gameplay loop to this one. So we might be thinking of a same series, different game scenario. Ah, don't have enough to upgrade Shadow Mario. Okay. Aos. I need to upgrade quarters. Perfect. And I can do two in the lab. So, yeah, there'll be some that you probably recognize and some that you definitely won't. When the frill did you make a mod and why did you not tell me I make me a mod? Why did you? I made you and Drea both a mod for, um, like, ages ago. And, yes, I am nuts, but I trust you <laughs> to help me keep my stream safe, Raider. Because <laughs> um, I definitely can't afford... I'm positive I told you. It's just that I don't, I, I, I don't stream very often, so it's never really something that you've noticed. <laughs> but I definitely remember telling you. Uh, okay, so we're going to do this one. No, my memory isn't that bad. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I told. This was ages ago, though. Oh, I had to point it out to him. <laughs> Ah, uh, no, this was ages ago, dude. This was many, many, like, at least a year or two ago. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, no, you're one of my mods because I trust you. Um, I'm sure we, uh, if anyone pops in here and starts doing advertising, I expect you to ban them because <laughs> I don't need that in there. I can recall down to the band what I've done to this PC. I have no memory of that discussion. This, I think this would have been when I was playing like Pokemon Sword or Shield. I'll pop into a nice me. It seems interesting game. Might have to get it when I get some cash. I only got this because it had it was on like a 65 or 75% sale. It was like 30 bucks. The edition that I got, which comes with like the premium music, so the songs from the anime and everything, is usually like $104. So definitely wait for sale and definitely get the premium pack because it's definitely worth it. It is so much better. <laughs> it sounds so much better with the actual music and everything. Ah. Uh, and I should have been told how the heck am I job I thought I told you. You know, Tim, I thought I told you, man. I am apparently losing my mind. Not that I didn't already lose it in the first place. <sighs> but, yeah. Okay, so also I found out that this this guy and his mech is actually from a uh, video game that dates back to the Dreamcast or the Saturn. <laughs> So this is a deep cut in regard. I I don't know. I thought I told you. You also need to remember, Raider, that my memory is nowhere near that good. I can't remember what I had for breakfast. Probably nothing because you're dumbass. <laughs> Actually, I think you're one hundred percent right. <laughs> Is your brain has a wheel of Swiss cheese, I know. I think you're giving my brain far too much credit saying that there's a wheel of Swiss cheese there, mate. <laughs> that is far more credit than I actually deserve. <laughs> uh, 
Apparently, I forgot to tell Raider that I made him a mod. <laughs> Did I tell you that I made you a mod? I'm a mod? I think so. Well, I didn't know that. Oh, okay. Apparently, I didn't tell Dre she was a, uh, my wife. She was a mod either. So you know, I mean, I could reduce that. To a wedge is too much credit, man. Let's be honest. This is me. This is my brain. <laughs> Apparently, I don't tell people when I do things like that. The roast continues. Roast away, my good dude. Roast away. It makes it entertaining. <laughs> So yeah, this guy is from Sakura Wars, which is, like I said, a Saturn or Dreamcast game. I didn't know where he was from, so I wanted to look it up. And yeah, it's like, this is obscure. Like, I never even heard of the games. And I don't hate that sort of thing. Because this is kind of why... I was, I could roast you, Vince, style, a la WWE. Now, if you're going to roast me for, for, like anything from the WWE, go with Paul Heyman. That man, that man could barbecue a whole chicken without breaking a sweat, I swear. It would almost be a dream to get to the point where Paul Heyman roasts me. It's never going to happen, but it would be a dream. <laughs> uh... We'll do this one real quick. Look up, Raider. I, but there was a segment that Heyman did where he basically spent a good 10, 15 minutes giving Vince what for. And if you... Watch Heyman tell the story. It was by Vince's request so that he could, quote unquote, draw him money. <laughs> yeah, that man is slightly insane. But, uh, given everything that's been happening, coming out about him lately, I think we already figured that out. So we get some more demons coming down this way. Oh my goodness. I need to find that one file where we threw it through chicken at Vince. Yeah. I think I vaguely know what you were talking about. Uh, okay, you can stay there. Um, Bill Tiger is going to... Actually, no, you are going to... Tig oh, no, you are going to melee the ever-loving shit out of this thing. This is not a kid's stream. People are going to... Why is my number of people watching jumped up to four? Hello, people! <laughs> I, I, um... Just so you know, um, I already played this section yesterday, um, so I'm kind of just blasting through it as quickly as possible so that I can get to bits that I haven't already done. Um, if you want to see the full, proper playthrough of it... Um, I chucked your link at a few peeps. And I'm, hey, I appreciate it, dude. Yeah, um... If you want to see the actual playthrough, uh, it is on my YouTube page, youtube.com forward slash Dr. Me4. Um, come on over. Uh, subscribe if you like. I plan on doing a little bit more uh, 
actual recorded segments, possibly some toy reviews, which is what I was doing on that channel in the first place. And yeah, thanks for joining us. I hope I'm not too boring as I try and catch up to where I was yesterday. <laughs> And I have ridiculous conversations about Vincent Kennedy McMahon and what a psychopath he is. Anyway. Uh, and, you know, just general stuff about what I'm playing, which is Super Robot Wars 30. With giant robots with rifles hidden in their pants, I guess, is the best way to describe it. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we do an attack on the Ninja Toe over here. Focus, start battle. Let's do the thing. Do the do the thing. Do the thing. Do do the thing. Hysterical. So Gundam by way of Robocop weapon rules. Kind of, sir. Kind of. Um, he was. From the Brave, he's from the Brave series, which um, was Takara Tomi's attempt at um, doing some form of Transformers replacement back in the 80s once it had finished. Uh, he's actually another example of a smaller robot that jumps into a bigger robot. Uh, gotta hit him with the five barrel Gatling cannon. So, yeah, there's some. You might. I don't know how much mecha anime you watch, Mr. Rickles, but, um, you might recognize some of the, the characters through here. You might not. You might look at gridman and say gee he looks like something i watched in live action once upon a time years ago and you would be right <laughs> uh... so yeah uh, ah, so with a touch of roboception too i honestly don't want to watch a lot of anime that's understandable it's not for everyone um, I don't recognize most of the stuff in here. Like, Gridman I recognize because he had a live-action show back in the 90s that got turned into Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. Um, Jay Decker I recognize because I've watched clips and stuff and maybe an episode or two on YouTube because he is basically a... Uh, Transformers replacement, and I am down for Transformers of that kind. I wish I could afford the toys, but unfortunately, trying to get your hands on Brave Series toys requires many more hundreds of dollars than I actually have. But it would be very cool to have. <laughs> okay, so you're going to come back out for the room, man. Okay, more down. You're going to go for this. Except for this guy. Ogami and his Kobu is actually from... Well, in fact, yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, and this guy's actually from... I was discussing this with Marshall. He's actually from a uh, Sega Saturn or Sega Dreamcast era game. <laughs> Which, you know, if you want to go really obscure, that works. Uh, actually pretty impressive, all things considered, because I haven't even actually had a chance to upgrade him yet, and he's doing some serious damage to things. Okay, so you're going to, actually you're going to get the weak, oh, oh nope, no you're not. You're going to get the weaker one. Okay. That works. Okay, so you're going to go there.
grid caliber and trying to cover the music because I've already had some copyright issues with YouTube. <laughs> oh, boy. No. Leap Slasher, that should finish this guy off. Yep, that'll finish that one off easy. All right. So that's that mission, and I believe that catches me up. So basically now I can play normally, and I managed to catch up in a little over an hour. Ah, boy. Fun, fun, fun in the sun, sun, sun. Yes, I just made a Red Dwarf reference. <laughs> All right. I need to give him some parts. I'm going to give him... He uses close combat, so he's going to get that one. Um, I think... I don't know what Wish does, but that one and that one. Okay. Okay. And... Go to the upgrades. All of the upgrades, except for that one. <laughs> All right, so we'll go down to the left. And back to the bridge. Nope. Okay, so can't do that. All right. Um, uh, I'm, I'm usually that person that I won't say shit. Uh, so so I think we'll keep going through. Just collect all the various rubits. There are a lot of rubits to collect. Yeah, correct. That is the American Center awesome. Community. Yeah. Otherwise known as Power Rangers. Yes, Raider. That is my... <laughs> I should probably turn that off. That is the notification tone for my phone. <laughs> but, so I'm, I'm, not I'm not allergic to it. I'm just intolerant of it. <laughs> Let me just fix that real quick. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> Leave it. It's fine. No, oh, it's no, distracting. No, I didn't mean to do something about that. <laughs> it needs to be done. Put that back on, <laughs> K Raider, if you insist. Uh, I don't like taking medications that I don't necessarily have to take just because I have other stuff yeah. that I can do. That. Okay, so now I can uh, nag, uh, nag, uh, nag, nag. <laughs> I fixed it. <laughs> Calm down, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Drake Strega, uh, Miss Hall. There have been many DBD reports in Manila recently. DBD, Dimensional Boundary well, the Disruption Disorder the system, um, um, Debility uh, Damn Blew a brain cell trying to remember what that... <laughs> distortion! There we go. <laughs> I'm okay, I promise. I haven't drawn... I haven't that... I haven't dropped a drunk of alcohol. <laughs> yeah, it's safe to say they want us to investigate the DBD phenomenon and take custody of any displaced people that might appear. 
What if we find a terrible villain from another world? Well, there's a lot of stories where they banish a villain to another dimension. What if this is the other dimension? Can you imagine? See, I don't mind either way. I've never saw much Power Rangers, so I never saw them use that tone. I recall them using it extensively in every game possible episode. It's very similar. It's not the exact tone. Um, yeah. Um, Kim Possible's like four or five beeps. Um, Power Rangers is like six or seven. The fact that I was able to figure that out is slightly terrifying on how it's a slightly terrifying look on how my brain works. <laughs> also, the idea that can, can you imagine a story? where you live in the world where all those evils get banished to every time someone decides to banish an evil from their land. <laughs> and Drake Cruz will handle it. Simple as that. Sheesh. There's courage, there's recklessness, recklessness, and then there's humor. Sticking with you just ain't good for our health. He might be a bit like reckless, but his spirit's always in the right place. It's true. You do need to have a certain level of hopeless foolishness to succeed as a super robot pilot. <laughs> It's official, this one with the Phantom Zone. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's fantastic. I love it. That's our game. <laughs> we'll be right there with you. Right on. That's me, leader of battle team, kicking butts and meeting out justice. Here we go. So. Right, all Drake Cruise members, our sensors indicate a massive DVD will open in near Manila momentarily. Well, you know what that means. Someone or something is coming to our world. Drake Strager is heading there at full speed. All hands maintain second level alert status. Don't worry, guys. Whatever comes out of the Com Battle of 5v will take care of it. Now, the question is, is this going to be the other special scenario into a maelstrom of battle? I have no idea who this is. I don't know. Wait, do I... Oh, this is the other electromagnetic robot. Cool. <laughs> so, where are we this time? Feels kind of familiar somehow, and it looks pretty tropical. According to the topographic data, we should be in the vicinity of Manila in the Philippines, but what is it, Megumi? Is something wrong? The thing is, it's an 87.2% match. The Manila we're seeing is different from the Manila recorded in Voltez's data banks. So what does that mean? It's possible that this is Earth... It's not our Earth. Say what? <laughs> well, we don't have to be out. That would explain a few things. We had no data on that white robot or that swarm of monsters for that matter. Is it all because of that black orb? Stay sharp. Something's coming. Kikaju. So yeah, there are two, possibly three. I'd have to double check that. There's at least... In, in this game, there's two... Robots that are almost exactly the same, down to being powered by electromagnetism. Yes, that is a thing. No, I don't know how that works. <laughs> there is Combat of V, which we've already seen, and there's Volta's V, which is this one. And they are all combiners. And if they seem to have a familiar um, workup for the teams, that is because they very much. Uh, have the same makeup as uh, Voltron. The leader, the hothead, the big guy, the girl, and the kid. <laughs> Straight up. That's the archetype for the time. <laughs> I guess we're not we're talking our way out of this. All right, then. Until we understand what's happened to us, our safety comes first. Come on, everyone. We're going to fight. Now we're talking. You got it, Kenichi. Oh, Not even the strongest Beast Knights of Planet Bozan could ever defeat the beat Boltus. Boltus. Blah, 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 blah. We'll show them. Keep your eyes open. We're heavily outnumbered. I know. No matter who we face, I will never stop believing in our strengths. Voltes will be victorious. Actually, no. I know that's a bad move because... And now I am going to run the freak away because if I don't, I'm going to get trashed very quickly. Because if I just stay there, 
I'm going to get overwhelmed. So I'm going to run away for a little bit. Can I come over to this one? Okay, so that should mean... So these guys are going to start coming down. Nope, you're not going to attack. Nope, you're not going to attack. Nope, you're going to attack. Yep, there we go. Bullseye. Snipe. Flash. Axel. Start battle. Just as we were returning from our war against Bozen, this happened. Even so, we can't afford to lose. Man brought peace to our world. We still have so much left to do. Wherever we are, whoever we face, we will never be defeated. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing about this. So, in as far as uh, the mechs and the shows that are combined into the world, not so much the ones that come from another dimension like this one, but, like, several Gundam series are in here. Um, so, Amaro is here, and he is a friend of ally of the Getter team, and, um, Koji Kabuto from Mazinga, which those names probably, most of those names mean nothing to pretty much anyone watching at the moment, but it's just interesting that they've combine them like that. Oh, that's not what I wanted to happen. That's what I was trying to avoid. Okay. <laughs> unleash the <laughs> unleash the Beyblades. <laughs> Let her rip. <laughs> Uh... Okay, so they're all going to come running over this way. Hopefully the ship should show up fairly shortly. Oh, diving into the water. Cool. Uh, yep, here it comes. Wait, something is approaching from the air. That's a giant flipping ship. Unleash everything. <laughs> That's a giant battleship, and all kinds of robots came out of it. Don't, I don't recognize a single one of them. Wait a second, is that the same robot that got displaced alongside me the other day? Could it be that the DBD is attracting the ki Kikaiju? We have no data on the robot in our system. So you're saying, so it's likely a visitor from another world displaced by the DBD. Do you copy pilot? This is Commander Mitsuba Grey Valley of the Dre Cruise. That reminded me of a lot of Cancer Zodiac's final battle in Kamen Rider Falls. Saka also died of the power of a spinning top. <laughs> As I pointed out to um, Marshall at uh, Raider earlier, uh, the. <laughs> The spinning top is has actually also been used in Power Rangers. As <laughs> Copy that. This is Kenichi Go of Volta's V. I thank you for the assistance. Wow, he's actually polite. I'm just glad he's being reasonable. Jeremy, this is incredible. It appears that Volta's V is a five. Their Volta's V is a five machine combiner. That sounds like a lot like Combattler V. Quite so. In fact, I believe it is also powered by super electromagnetic engine. Also, I think I found the... Cool! It's not just similar. It's almost identical to our combatler. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Humor? Look alive, people. We're not losing to a copycat. That robot looks like just, our, just like our vaulters. I am sensing some hostility towards it. Oh, really? Let's put them in their place then, if that's what they want. Cut it out, Epe. I fight with these Kikaiju things, not with them. Let's go. We'll work with those people and come out victorious. Okay, so I'm going to pull Kenichi. Actually, maybe I don't need to. I am going to Spirit, Trust, Bill Tiger, Trust, Confirm, get some health back, and then... 
absolutely... Raider, I'm about to lose it giggling again. Even though I know what's about to happen, I'm about to lose it giggling again. And you're probably wondering, why? I've never seen any of those robots before. It's true, then. We must really be in another world. Kenichi, there is no time to show weakness, Yoshi. We're on a battlefield. But Kenichi, we... No buts. Focus on the enemy. Anything else can come later. He's right, you know. At least we've had some people willing to talk. We'll figure something out. Before we do that, we have to survive. Everyone, we'll bet everything on Volta's V. Ahem. Grand fire. Are we ready? I know what's going to happen. This is glory. <laughs> I have the maturity of a 12 year old. <laughs> oh. oh man, that should not be that funny. Hello, Robo Scanlon. Yes, I suppose. <laughs> uh. Glory and power to the great Zeon Emperor Empire. Um, they're coming. It's Neo Zeon. But they're coming. They are also a part of this game. <laughs> Trying to get everybody over there is a bit of a pain. She says, Bill Tiger apparently can't get in the water. <laughs> So, oh, don't do that. Um, destroying it only works on a lot of skill. Okay, so it's as good as it's going to get. All right. Dodge, 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 dodge. No dodge. Crud. He's kind of surrounded too. I couldn't get anybody over there. I should have run. I should have run away. So let's go. Grand fire again. <laughs> You're telling me a giant robot powered by electromagnetic energy can't swim in the water after <laughs> ten garbage design. <laughs> oh no, combat alert is flying. Um Bill Tiger is a super AI that is made out of three construction vehicles. No, I am not kidding. One of them is named uh, Power Joe. One of them is named McCrane. And one of them is named uh, Dumpson. No, I'm still not joking. Anime is weird. <laughs> uh... Dodge, 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 dodge. No dodge. Bugger. <laughs> you figure, of course, anime is weird. <laughs> uh, still better than a dump cake. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Raider, yes. Rickles, I know exactly what you're talking about. I know exactly the videos you're talking about. Uh, oh, would you stop? Okay, so we're going to hit trust from Gridman on that one. If it wasn't weird, then we wouldn't watch it. Exactly. Also, welcome, CIB2828. Welcome to the insanity. How are we doing today? <laughs> 
Please dodge. Please dodge. Ah, buggeration. <laughs> uh, hold it together, Dejiro. This battle is far from over. I live. I breathe. I stream. I giggle insanely at where this guy has his fire, th has his flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> you got that dodging issue too, huh? Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, there. I, I really need to get a soundboard set up. So every time I get to that issue, I just press it, and I've got uh, DB uh, Dragon Ball abridged Piccolo yelling dodge. Yeah, I don't know how many people are going to get that reference. But I'm going to go with that reference. <laughs> uh, we can do be way better than that. Come on, let's show them what we've got. Sounds like someone's asking for trouble. Enough here, pay. This is not a playground. What's got in here, You've been acting weird since we got here. Shut up. I don't want to lose to him. <laughs> what happened to you, Hyoma? And Oh, finally, you're going to attack someone other than that. That's fine by me. Persist. Bullseye. Start battle. <laughs> Unleash the Itchy Nana! I can't wait till I actually get Mazinga Z. That'll be so much better. I like that better than this mass production looking thing. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, 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 What are you going to go with? What are we going with? Mazinga Blade! There we go. Slice and dice. Ooh, that did a bit. <laughs> That did a bit. It's always good. Always good when it does a bit of damage. Uh, would you stop attacking Combattler? I don't have any more access to any more heals. Uh, oh, that might be a problem. Dodge. Oh, would you learn how to dodge? <laughs> oh, buddy, you want to give certain subset of. <laughs> There is a very specific clip you want to use whenever characters pop up out of nowhere. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. You talk about anything from nowhere. The first thing that comes to head, my head is wrestling reference. RKO out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, would you stop attacking this? Okay. You have a heal. I have one more heal. Awesome. <laughs> I need to get it back to Drake, back to the Drake Strega to recharge, I think. And hit again, my goodness. My friend, look up Goro Majima. Enough said. Goro Majima. That name sounds familiar. Is that from um what's it called uh oh god it's an action figure it doesn't <laughs> uh goro majima it's um uh yakuza right yeah i think that's yakuza i think i know who you're talking about Okay, so I'm going to recruit Combattler back to, or Volta's back to Dreistrega for a quick recharge. And we are going to go with the PP missile. <laughs> Give you <chance. laughs> I haven't played a lot of those games, but yeah, get in the game, guys. We're not pulling any punches today. You calm down already, Humor. He's right, we can't just rush ahead without a plan. Screw plans, we have counter the spotlight for those outsiders to steal it from us. Oh my gosh. Outsiders, are you talking about Volta's V? Uh-oh, my comparison seems to have given Homer a bad case of the rivalries. <laughs> just you wait, Volta's V. I'm going to show you the true strength of Combattle of E. <laughs> PP, no, PP Missile. Watch, I'm not joking. Check this out. PP Missile. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. See? Just watch. You'll see it soon. <laughs> the delay is killing me, but I can't fix that, so... <laughs> Uh. Combat is glorious, vicious, skull crunching, fun, the extra content. Why do we need so much? Oh my! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Yes, Rickles. Yes. And then Voltus V has a flamethrower in the same spot. These two robots are like from like the 70s or something. It's it's glorious. It's insane, but it's glorious. <laughs> uh Yeah, I've heard that there's a lot of, like, side stuff to do in the Yakuza games. Like, that's kind of why I'm hesitant. Like, side stuff doesn't usually excite me in games. I'm making a, a like... Ah, no, that's not what I want to do. There we go. Um, photon rifle. Let's actually no. Let's beam sword. Can I beam sword it? There we go. Yes. Intuition. Stop battle. Go PBS. <laughs> it was placed on the back of for, and for more comedic. <laughs> you make a hot shit joke. <laughs> that could work. Yes, <laughs> it could work rather well. <laughs> Ah, oh, boy. Ah, uh, you're too... Things are too far away for me to attack, so I'm going to move in closer. Go! Attack that you can never get away with calling calling it this in an American cartoon. <laughs> We are all children. You damn straight. I mean, if you go <laughs> get out of it, sorry, that's still. <laughs> it's your well in cages. <laughs> Battling cages and disco? What? I know. Oh, we got a hit. Okay, I can fix that. Pokemon can also be accused of having. <laughs> this is true. This is true, Rickles. This is true. Um. But I was thinking more of, I was talking more of breast fire in that one. Um, so, spirits, there we go. Um, I cannot do a, that's fine. What can I go with? All right, um, who's getting this one? You're getting this one, all right. Uh, I know a YouTuber, uh, actually managed to get a uh, w w went into a competition to get a bit part in the most recent Yakuza game and she won and she's a huge uh, Yakuza fan um, as far as she's concerned Kiryu is her hubbo is her husbando <laughs> So much so that her uh, previous uh, account, her character's last name was Kiryu. They're the same people who were with me when I came to this world. I never thought I'd see them again like this. Last time I wasn't able to thank them properly, but not this time. Let's wrap this up and give them the thanks they deserve. Ah... Uh... This is just a cool-looking steampunk mini-robo, which I like. 
The Android Kikaida OVA series had a very unfortunate instance of breast beams same with the Apocalypse. Kikaida, I actually wasn't aware of that. Kikaida, I actually know. Yeah, um, the the YouTuber in question was Kason. Um, she's she's Japanese, but she speaks a lot of English, so she has a lot of fans in um uh in English speaking countries. So, yeah, this is a big thing for her. She was super excited about it, which is good. You know, good for her. It's always cool. You know, getting the chance to guest star in your favorite game series. That will never happen for me, but it'd be cool. I don't even know what I'd want to get into, to be honest. Like... <laughs> And dodge, thank you. I would hope that the ninja is able to dodge, yes. <laughs> okay, who has not had an attack? Bill Tiger, can you even make it into a place where you can attack? Oh my gosh. Straight in the water. <laughs> oh, wait, who hasn't? Oh, of course, Gridman, duh. Okay, so now we can go. Cool. A ninja who can't dodge is no ninja. They are ninja. <laughs> uh, I'm actually pretty sure... I was saying this to Raider earlier. I'm actually pretty sure that Shadow Maru might be do uh, based off the six-shot toy in Transformers. I may be incorrect on that. Oh, that's not good. I think I got a repair part for that. See if I can fix that later. It's been your category live action. Obligatory. <laughs> um, I actually have never seen the full speed race a live action movie. Did you just attack? Am I losing my mind? I feel like you just got an attack off. Anyway. But yeah, I've never actually seen all the way through on that Speed Racer movie. I need to. I should. I grew up with the original Speed Racer anime. Like, Speed Racer, uh, Voltron, uh... Astro Boy. That was... <laughs> yeah, I, I grew up like Speed Racer, Astro Boy, Voltron. That was my anime starter kit. That's how old I am. <laughs> so I feel positively ancient when people say their anime starter kit was like Dragon Ball and Naruto and Bleach, and I'm like, nah, bruv, that, that, that can't be right. <laughs> There's way more stuff before that. <laughs> uh, I will warn you, the original Speed Racer anime is definitely a product of, a t of its time. The animation is very much not modern animation. And miss, thank you. Ah, boy. This is probably the most people I've ever had watching a stream. <laughs> This is the, probably the most active my chat's been during a stream. <laughs> <laughs> Anime starter kit with Sailor Moon, Inuyasha, Naruto, Leech, Full Metal Alchemist, Gundam Seed, and only kicked in when I hit my mid-teens. <laughs> okay, that, that's, that's respectable. That's respectable. I'm also 42 years old, so I've, I'm, I'm ancient. 
by most people's standards at this point. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. So intuition. And I'm going, oh, I'm not going to hit trust. Okay, never mind. Now you have five. <laughs> God, this is insane. Um, thank you guys all for showing up and keeping me company. Um, New Jersey Evangelion, which was on... Yeah. I... That was a late night SBS watch for me. Wow, finally... <laughs> yeah. I mean, 34 that far behind you. Yeah, no, I'm Adult Swim. Yep, yep, no, um, there's a uh, channel in Australia called SBS. Um, it's basically foreign language shows. And it had a Midnight Friday anime block, which was just like Evangelions and stuff. So, yeah, 39. Oh, <laughs> Hey, not that far, not that far behind me, not that far behind me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, that, I watched, um, I was watching that on SBM and I could, would get up at 6 a.m. just to watch Salem Moon <laughs> Heroes on Hot Wheels and go to school. Yeah, no, I, um. We had the morning stuff like your Sailor Moons and stuff way back in 99 to 2001. Yep. Yep. Um, I was actually, I was just leaving high school at that point, Tim. <laughs> 99 to, yeah, 99 I think is my, the year I graduated from high school. 98, 99, something like that was the year I followed. CIB, thanks for the follow. Greatly appreciated it. My friend, uh, much appreciated indeed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's like, you know, 99, I went into the real world and almost instantly regretted it. <laughs> uh, always good. I feel bad I joined the army at 17. I, my mum wanted me to join the military. I support all people too. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, no, I, my mum wanted me to join the military at some point. I, uh, I, 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 I looked into it. Some kind of back, you know, back lines role, but I could, Australia has a military. Yes, Tim, Australia has a military. <laughs> we have an army, a navy, an air force, and the SAS, which is basically our version of the SEALs, I think. It's a special forces thing. <laughs> so canoes or sailboats. We buy submarines off the Americans. Don't start with that, mate. <laughs> We actually, I grew up in Sydney. My dad worked in <laughs> the old diesel fleet. I th actually, there was a, what's funny is there was a uh, thing back when I was a kid where we um, actually purchased a whole bunch of diesel uh, submarines. The problem was that they were so loud, people could see them coming a mile away. <laughs> I uh, can't remember what they were called. Uh, yeah, no, I can't remember what they were, but yeah, <laughs> those things were ridiculous. They were so they were a they were a joke for like years. It was eighty nine ninety. I think that might be right. Yeah, I think you might be right there. It was so ridiculously funny, though, because, like, we, we gave, like, particularly, like, you know, 
kids in uh, the, the the kids in like high school and stuff. We were giving them so much shit for that. There was a there was a Collins class. Yeah, that was it. That was the Collins class summary. Going nowhere fast in a Collins summary. That's it. That's the one. <laughs> Ah, uh, he was gay. Tell Navy ships to other countries. Not sure we even had it all for you. Oh, don't be like that. You still got the mighty. I think you've still got the mighty mo as a museum piece now. I'm sure, if necessary, they could pull that thing out of mothballs. <laughs> I mean, they already did it that one time in uh, the battleship movie. I always would mean think there's like five left as museums. I've heard that. And then there was the it was the Texas, I think that was an Iowa class. The one that gangster leaned the ships so they could remove the uh the 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 uh emplacement that was firing at them. Texas was dreadnought. Oh okay. Yeah, I think it was the Texas that did it. They flooded the ballast so that they could lean the ship back and get a, a, a good shot. Was it the... Yeah, it was during D-Day, I think. They reached the limit of their guns, so they leaned the ship so they could keep firing or something like that. I don't know. I saw a, a, a Fat Electrician uh, video... On it, and it always—it's one of those things that always comes up, that comes to mind. Uh, that and the uh, emergency cheese storage the Americans has. <laughs> the idea that there are these like caves with like just. I think it's like 500 million pounds or something like that of just cheese sitting around in old cave somewhere. I think that there was something ridiculous like that. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 Iowa, New Jersey, Missouri, Wisconsin. Only four Iowas. Okay. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool, cool, cool. Um, but yeah, no, this, yeah, I, I, I stumbled on the fat electrician. And then just every now, every so often, I'll go to one of his videos and just have a giggle because, good lord, some of the ridiculous stuff he finds. <laughs> Six ordered, four commissioned, two scrapped in various states of assembly. The last two were Illinois and Kentucky. Nice. People are doing their homework, which is better than I can do. <laughs> I was never good at the whole of homework thing. Oh my gosh. You guys had HMAS Australia World War II. Not sure what happened to it. Um, yeah, I don't know. The only... <laughs> the only piece of military equipment that I know that's sitting in a museum somewhere wasn't actually one of ours. It was... It's a World War I German tank. It broke down in no man's land. And the Australians sitting on guard decided they wanted the tank. <laughs> it's current. Last I heard, it was currently sitting in a uh, war memorial in Brisbane. <laughs> Everyone always brings up the emu war. Have you ever tried to fight an emu? <laughs> 
Like, first off, good luck hitting him. Yep. Is that yep, you've actually tried to fight one? Or yep, yep, everyone brings up the emu war? Now he's in the funny long story trying to get a bet. Oh, my dude, I need to hear that story one of these days. <laughs> that sounds like it's right up there with that time my mum got chased by a wombat. No, I'm not joking. I kind of wish I was. Also, Brian was who hypothetically. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's, that's brilliant. Oh my gosh. That's insane. Uh, <laughs> hypothetically speaking, what were you aiming, what, what exactly were you looking for when you uh, broke into that uh, zoo? Just Hypothetically, there might have been a girl involved, and suddenly everything is explained. No need to go any further, my friend. <laughs> oh. oh, boy. Uh, I mean, let's face it, that's how all the good, all the best stories start, isn't it? There may have been a girl involved. <laughs> Fun time. It sounds like it. It sounds like it. Yeah, no, I, I kind of get it. Also, beavers up. <laughs> Invited into the gunplay. Cool, perfect. Thank you, Rita. Um, yeah, speaking of mean things, um, my mum, like I mentioned, my mum got chased by a wombat. She will swear up and down, despite actual experts that work with wombats at a zoo telling her otherwise, that that thing hissed at her. <laughs> I am... She, she will swear up and down despite people telling her, no, that's impossible, they don't, they don't hiss, that it hissed at her. It's, yeah, it, it, it's a, it's a, th it was a thing. It was hilarious. My, my father, I mean, at least it wasn't a boxing. Aru. You, you don't survive boxing a route. There's a reason they would make them wear the boxing gloves and make sure that they didn't use the claws on their legs. You can get eviscerated that way. Exactly. Yep. Quick evisceration. Also, never jump into a, into the water to save a save a roo. It's a trap. <laughs> fun facts. It was a fun to write. <clears throat> Hypothetically. <laughs> or, is, or is this one an actual fact that you can talk about <laughs> uh. thank you commander mitsuba we owe you our lives we're just glad you're safe the drake cruise has been tasked with protecting those in circumstances similar to yours there are others we would like to ask you a few questions. In return, we will provide you with all the information we have. Would that be acceptable? Very well. You did save us, after all. Besides, I'd like to meet you all in person. Thank you. I appreciate it. Please follow our traffic controller to dock. What's going to happen to us, Kenichi? I don't know. But I think we can trust them. Let's listen to what they have before considering our next step. <clears throat> Let's just say I'm no longer invited to birthday parties at my local zoo. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Um All right. That's uh that is good to know. Good to know. Thank you for <laughs> Oh 
it's been a fun night. It's been a fun night. I think this is as far as I'm going to go with them. 16 was a fun time for me. Ah, <laughs> uh, apparently. Well, yeah, we're going to get through this real quick. And then I am going to call this bit a night. Um, it gets worse. Good Lord. <laughs> as we can't right now at least however we're keeping our eyes out for a solution I would like you to travel with us while we continue to search does that mean there are other dimensional drifters who have joined the Joy Cruise you are welcome to stay with, <clears throat> with us as we continue our research and hopefully find a way to return you home as I explained we're trying to investigate these dimensional incidents still a cop car for oh, God. my sister is the only one of us four kids my youngest sister is the only one of us four kids to get a ride to, to get taken home in a cop car. She wasn't arrested, but she was caught breaking into a, like a school hall or a Boy Scout hall or something because she left her purse inside. <laughs> I bet the cop wasn't too happy. As I explained, we're trying to investigate these dimensional incidents. Um, hopefully we can gather information that will help you return to your original world. What should we do, Kenichi? I think we should accept the captain's offer. Don't know how he wasn't arrested. D well, that's... <laughs> night, Tim. Yeah, we're going to get through this real quick, and then I'm going to call it a night. It's been about two hours, which is about what I like to do. Um, the... I'm going to have to put this up uh, anyway because I've done another mission. Uh, so this will be going up on okay. YouTube. So all of the cool stories will be there. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you for joining me, everyone. I appreciate it. Save your game. I will remember to save the game this time, Raider. I think we should accept the captain's offer. Hey, I trust anyone that comes out of those beautiful lips. One way or another, we're going to need a food and a roof over our head if we're going to survive. Hold on, guys. It's true that we owe them for a lot for savings. If we agree to follow them, we'll have to join them in their battles, and I'm not ready to commit to that yet. Even if this isn't our world, we can't allow the power of Volters to be used for the wrong cause. As you surmise, we'll, we'll be fighting against many kinds of our foes to protect the foes to protect the, the world, peace and freedom of the I cannot read! What the flip? But we will never force you to take part in our battles. You will be free to decide whether you whether to join us or not. You're leaving the choice to us? Yes, first I want you to understand exactly what it is we're fighting for. Then if you deem our cause be a worthy one, we would be glad to have your assistance. Goes without saying, of course, that we will spare no effort to help you return home, even if you choose not to fight. Fight. Well, thank you very much, Captain Mitsuba. If you're willing to lay it out like that, I have no reason to doubt you. We will do what we can to assist the Drake crews. And... Don't worry, these people are all fighting for a worthy cause. I'll vouch for them, and you are? My name is Ichiro Ogami. We never met face to face, but we actually fought together once. Hold on, are you the part of that small white ma machine we met when our, our first jump? Tim's in Discord, by the way. Coolness. I've been meaning to thank you for your help back there. I have a feeling we'll get along just fine. Likewise, I think we'll make a great team. That tells it then. Welcome aboard. Allow us to introduce ourselves properly. My name is Kenichi Go. I'm the main pilot of Volta's v, v and leader of the team. Ipe mai, min, mine, mine, I have no idea. It's quite the pleasure to meet you, Captain. Megumi Oka, looking forward to working with you. Daijiro Go, and this is my little brother, Hiyoshi. We'll do our best to help. Thank you for letting us stay with you. So, Kenichi, Daijiro, and Hiyoshi are all brothers. And... They didn't look much like. Enter this dumbass. <laughs> That voice, you must be the pilot of that machine similar to Volta's. Combat Levy is not similar to Volta's. If anything, you're a your robot that's similar to ours. Oh my gosh, this doofus. I bought this on. And Rickles, thanks for the follow. Much appreciated, sir. I was wondering I was wondering about that during the fight. What's your problem with us exactly? Yo Ma I asked that. I, I it's a broker Mum voice. Yeah, yeah, I get it, Captain. I'm not going to pick a fight with them while they're part of Drake Cruise. I just have one final question for you. What is it? How tall is that robot of yours? 58 meters. Why do you ask? 
Uh, are you all right, Huma? Don't think you want it because you might easily meet a tall. Oh, what? <laughs> it's not from now on. You and me are rivals. I'm never going to lose you guys, ever. Uh, sure. Why is Huma acting like this? He looks pretty serious about it. He just met the pilot of a robot very similar to his own. It's only natural. Is that how it works? That's exactly how it works. It'll be interesting to see what kind of influence Volta's V and Kenichi have on Yoma. Would you at least tell me your name? Yoma Oi, main part of Com Battle of E. Nice to meet you, Yoma. I'll say it again. I'll never lose you and your Volta's. Uh, sure. A new fight and apparently a new rival were waiting for me in this unfamiliar world. We have to be strong. We have to keep fighting until the day we can return to the place we call home. Ah, boy. Power part improved learning circuit. Okay, so I'm going to set everybody up with their usual thing, like I normally do. Uh, okay, so formation, power part, down to the volters. Improved learning circuit. And topological site. And we'll do the upgrades. Ah, boy. And the Aos. Here's a thought. Don't ask for a blessing. Say you're happy. So, add another no thing, and oh, we can do one more. Okay, let's do one more. And we gained a new power part, which we don't have anyone yeah. with any extra slots, I don't yes. think. No, all right. Okay, so we're going to call it there. Um, I'll be back tomorrow to do the exact... To, to play this. Though hopefully we will not do it again. Um, and until then, thank you all so much for coming in. Um, <laughs> um, and as we go through this, I will catch you guys next time. Um, thank you very much. So long, and thanks for all the fish. Yes, that is still my thing. <laughs>